I bet I put these, yep, right here. I don't know why one of my hands went upside down there. Huh. I have stolen these metal tokens. There's like a separator. Huh. Okay. I've got those now. Ah, they might go there. Or not. Ah, there it is. There we go. It's like a witness puzzle. I have to go through this while only crossing each one once. Ah. Oh, not necessarily just once. But I have to, but they alternate every time I go by them. Huh. Turn both these off. There we go. Oh, it's half open. These are neat. Boom. Got him. Keep wanting to point at things. Just feels natural. Okay. A wire basket with the head of a falcon. What's that inside of it? Might be human remains. Probably. Like hearts and shit? Yeah, I think these are like mummified organs. Use clothes on me? I didn't say you could do that. <laughs> There's a system of where these all go. It's like that's the human one. So the baboon goes on the head or in, on the top. They totally have an organ in them. Falcon goes on the bottom. Jackal goes here. I'm gonna die when I do this. Now give him a kiss. Oh. Oh. I see you skipped on leg day. So we're out of items here. Wasn't there a letter here? Where'd that go? Your, ah, uh, we're doing preparation here. Your heart has to be tested, right? I'm gonna have to scale, test your heart on the scales before I give you over or something. Well, that's a dead end, isn't it? <laughs> Judge him. Find him at the beginning.
So this must be what we're still working on here, right? The code? I'm still missing whatever that one is. So we finished everything else in this box, so I just need this. The, the animal correlation. What have I missed? It's like, this feels like the dead end, but this is where there would be a new thing. If I had made, like, some proper progress here. Really hoping for some kind of visual clue here. It's the headless horror. That's a sneaky place to put that. There we go. Shoop. That can't be good. Wonk, wonk, wonk. Wonk. Huh. Oopsie. It's a slightly weird feeling. I'm gonna have to hit this one a bunch of times till it goes all the way back around. Good? Oh, I guess so. Ah. An Egyptian symbol cast in gold. Do you want something? Oh, you want his heart. Better go find that. So you must go here, right? Yes. But there's still a puzzle here. So this eye, where have I seen this eye before? Items, so I have nothing else to put down. We're not done with this yet. Oh, right here, there's the eye. metal handle. So you must go on that weird rotating thing. A decorated amulet. Ah. No, not there. Not there either. Yeah, it's not good. Wait, why is that? In, why is there a machine inside your chest? Who put that there? Good old human heart from like a thousand years ago. Looks like a weird fruit or like a weird vegetable or something. Have a nice trip. Oh, 
Time to stab it. Or cut this. Oh, you have been found wanting, sir. You're a little demon boy. That slammed down. That was violent. You're a real piece. Ah, it's in my eyes. They're in my eyes. No. Get out. Oh. I don't think Anubis approves. I think you might be like the worst person ever, judging by that. Uh, you slammed that hard. It was no contest. It's always been here. He's always been here. Since the beginning. Waiting. Waiting at the beginning. At the temple. They all wait at the beginning. I see them. They aren't blind like me. You're kind of a demon, aren't you? Curious artifact. It's a pretty cool visual, the glowiness. Oops, back. Oh, I was like, did the game crash? You worried me for a minute there, game. All right. So then we just whip out cube number two. N not cube, sorry. Saying bad wrong things. Ah. We are building a religion. A limited condition. Welcome back, detective. Perhaps now you can understand the danger we face. The artifact you collected now holds the very essence the soul, if you will, of the professor. His sacrifice will help further my work and bring these arcane forces safely under my control. Onward to another of those lost unfortunates, a servant of God this time. He was searching for some long forgotten relic. You must uncover what he found, the craftsman. Why, hell, oh, a church. Perhaps this revered will have some answers for me. Reverend, not revered. Bunch of hymns, music, bandolier, bunch of books. Books that... They passed the bookshelf test. There's no repeats. Individual books seem to repeat, potentially, but they could be parts of a set. But each shelf is a unique, like, series of books. That one looks suspiciously like I might be able to interact with it at some point, but I can't go over there right now. I don't know how much longer I can stand these ignorant people with their trivial problems. After tracing the legends to this remote parish and all these months of searching, I still can't find the hidden relic. Short of taking a hammer to the walls, I simply don't know where to search next. What a neat location. Is it, it really is a trip, see, like, looking around physically inside of a space. Like, you do it already in normal video games, but there, there is, like... The fact that, like, there's a one-to-head thing with my head, like, every little twitch and wobble does make you really feel like you are kind of here, like, on some level. Like, it's a video game, but it's also weirdly believable in certain ways. Uh, to the point where, like, I'm just, I'm really disoriented and a little confused whenever I take my, uh, my helmet off. 
And I'm like, oh, where, what's going on? Where am I? That's the hymn book. That was rude. <laughs> just really disrespectful to just books in general. Oh, do you pass the bookshelf test, or is it the same book shelf as over there? Uh, that's the same bookshelf with all the same books on it <laughs> as the one over there. You can see like, these, there's a space between these ones. Like, they're all detailed, but then these ones are all like one solid polygon. Now that it, it looks weirder up close. He just Ernest Klein the shit out of that hymn book. Can I go get it? I guess we don't care about that because he did throw it away. The clear implication being that it doesn't have what he wanted in it anyway. So, poop. Oh, hey. A mechanical key. To look for a cog shape to stick it into. there actually given the lack of much else going on around here hello those numbers are visible in both states two six one four five eight seven three nine eight one four no writing anywhere really this mode isn't doing me much right now they move them around they're kind of locked in place by these things. Yeah, there's little braces that I can't seem to move. Hmm. Let's try to get away from so it doesn't keep lighting up every time I reach out. It's hard. Ah, there's a bunch of them down here and some books. Something has to go there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the one repeats. They're not unique numbers, it's not like a Sudoku puzzle. Two, six, one. Two, six, one. Four, five, eight. <laughs> Getting out of the zone a little bit. Okay, so I can't just I can't just grab the four from down there apparently to put in there. Hmm. Maybe later. Probably put a book here later. A key goes in there, but like a different one. What does that horn mean? Mmm, second bolt. So the one is not enough. Do I have a place to put that key? I... Oh! Yes, I do. You ever want to go to church? Hmm. 
We're used to seeing those all over the place in these games. But they're up there too. It's like a Celtic knot, I think. Crot goes up with that one. The horns. Might be able to make correlations based on these tapestries. I don't know. Oh, we're a little close here. Okay. a bit of a subversion of expectations. We're kind of used to solving those. It looked like a big, it looked like a big old puzzle box. I'm like, all right, <laughs> let's, start, let's start playing around with this one. It's been a while. And then it's a, it's a light trick. It's just hollow inside. They're fucking with me. But, but also I kind of want to play around with one of those giant puzzle boxes from like the first game. We haven't seen one of those yet. It's more of a room sized escape, like, environment, which makes sense, because it's VR, in, this, in my case, literally room scale. An old man I've not seen before approached me after even song. He knew the legend of this chapel and the relic hidden somewhere within these stone walls. He gave me a small box, said it contained something that would help me, something which would unlock the truth. So these are all different characters that all have di that all came across different parts of this relic over time, which itself has Lovecraftian shit going on because this is a Lovecraftian franchise. But uh, this 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 in particular, where we seem to be visiting the lives of maybe four different people to get the elements that we can then put on that table in the meta area, uh, definitely makes me think about that. Where I'm like. Uh, like, I, I just played Eternal Darkness. The similarities are very noticeable. He's like, I'm addicted to books. It's just what I do. Eh. Is that going to fill up with something later, I wonder? Maybe I'll put something in there and then it'll come back down and then I'll solve it. I just want to solve something. We have a lot of spots. Let's maybe start with that one. It might indicate the next problem that I need to solve. A new lens? Keep doing this pretty rapidly, don't we? These crystals look unusual. Perhaps I should use this new lens to examine them. Strange, it feels like I'm being pulled towards them. Enter the portal. Oh, it's a bunch of little tiny platforms. So that's what. Oh, I've actually got a little unsteady for a second there. Uh, it's 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 tricking my brain to thinking that I'm actually up here, and I'm not a fan of that. Okay. Wow. We're really far from that spot, and I'm on a very precarious platform. Let's. Uh, who? <laughs> huh? That's a cool trick. Oh hi. Okay. How far does it go the other way? Oh, it goes quite a bit. We've now unlocked this part. Does it? Is it going to go back? Ah. What am I moving now? Where am I? Ah. We're like one story up right now. Inside of the locking mechanism. 
like lock picking this spot. What a trip. Okay. And we're back. Really thought I was gonna have to grab a number four and put it there, but okay. Ah, a bulb, a glass decanter. Oh, that means it's meant to be filled with liquid. Okay, and I'm gonna make this. Whoa, where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> magic tricks on myself. That's what that's what we're doing now. That was a really cool visual. They know what they're doing in these games. Did I have more to do with you earlier? You are just a, you're just a box with a key in it. That's all you are. Any cool Easter eggs? Like a missed book in that stack? <laughs> yeah, all I have is the decanter, right? Not gonna do me any good. About time we explored. Wait, do you just go here? Yes. This decanter fits here but doesn't do anything. I must have missed something. That lets me pick it back up. Okay. That's definitive. That likely means that I need to take this decanter somewhere else and fill it up, then bring it back here. Looks like a puzzle box over there. That's just kind of a direction. That's a pedestal. Hexagon on the on the front on the bat on the bottom. We don't really have a hex we have a hexagon, but it's way too small. Are you guys all gonna puke out liquid if I do the right code? <laughs> so much of the game is about using the handle grips to do gripping animations, but with these you just go. Eh, eh, eh. Okay. Mm. That's a codex for something. That's definitely a codex for something. So we have the normal numbers you see on a clock, but then we have completely different symbols inside, not quite lined up. Then we have moon phases, and that icon looks like the weird chisely thing that we found last chapter. That looks like uh, that old does stuff. That old does stuff. Yep. Abruptly a little too close to something. Ooh, there's something. So until it, there's like a hex, there's like a b -b 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 pyramid shape base. Until I find something for that, we all know that's for. Bunch of symbols in there. But we don't know what they're for yet. These are just books for days. Book on hymns, like the one you threw earlier. It's the same one. Displayed in the same way. What kind of asshole just puts books down like that? It's disrespectful. Uh, books aren't magic. They don't really have to be respected that badly. I go this way? Hello. This looks dangerous. If it spins, it might just be a pipe organ? Yeah. Okay, so the door that's locked down there, which creepily doesn't have a handle on this side, leads to the organ. As per churches go. What the fuck? That was weird. Uh, that hexagon's not gonna line up. Eh, eh. Nope, that's all we got for that. I need a second handle to finish the process, apparently.